New to Video Studio is the ability to preserve alpha channels with your exports, which essentially means exporting a video with a transparent background. This is a great option if you regularly need to have the same overlays on your videos, either an animated logo in the bottom corner of your video, a presenter's name, an episode number, or a slide-in graphic that promotes your social media accounts. All of these are really easy to create in Video Studio. So what is an alpha channel? Along with red, green and blue values for each pixel in a video file, which is abbreviated to RGB, some video formats also record the value of opacity or transparency of each pixel. Typically, these file formats are AVI and MOV files. MP4s do not have any transparency data. I'm here in Corel's PaintShop Pro, and I've opened an image of the box for Video Studio Ultimate 2019. If you've not worked with transparency before, the grey and white checkerboard behind the image indicates that this area of the image is transparent, and if I was to export this image as a PNG file, that transparency would be preserved. Now I'm back in Video Studio with the exact same image on an overlay track on my timeline, with some motion keyframed for the box to slide on screen and then off. We cannot see that the areas around the box are transparent when we are in Video Studio, because the default option for video when nothing is present is to display black rather than transparency. So if I was to export this video now in the usual way, all of the black here would be retained and the video would not be transparent. But in Video Studio, I can now export this overlay track with the transparency preserved. Let's just go to Share and then select MOV as our export type. We want the alpha channel presets at the bottom and my project is at 1080, so I'll select the 1920 by 1080 profile. Then there is a new option present at the bottom of the share screen, which track to export. As it says, alpha channel videos export only the selected track. Other tracks are not included. Our graphic with transparency is on the overlay track, and as there are no other tracks in our project, this is selected by default. If we had other tracks present, we would need to select the one track that we wish to export with. So as overlay is selected, let's start the export. Once it's exported, we can bring the MOV into our project and overlay it onto another video or image clip. Let's make it a corner bug by resizing it and positioning it towards the bottom right of our video. And we have an animated corner bug fading in and out, which we can reuse again and again across different projects. Or we could even send the MOV file to someone else to use in their own video edits. Remember, when you're exporting, you can grab whichever track you like so you could use animated titles instead of the overlay track. So for example, if you regularly need a lower third for a presenter's name, you could create a transparent version and use it across multiple episodes. I've got a title here for my channel's business correspondent, and I can export this in the same way. Go to Share, select MOV, pick the 180 profile, and this time, as my titles are the only track in my project, Video Studio has automatically selected the titles track as the export track. So press Start, and then once finished, drag the transparent overlay into my project. It's difficult to overstate how important exporting with Alpha Channel is to more complicated projects in Video Studio, as you could use some of our third-party animated titles from New Blue or Boris and export these with transparency retained, or even start to create your own motion graphics creating your assets in PaintShop Pro, bringing them into Video Studio to keyframe their motion, then exporting clips to make up fuller scenes, speeding up your workflow considerably. Happy editing!